Hey, and welcome to the Chord Booth. We are here with two of our finest keyboards, the M3 and the PA2X Pro. And I'm going to show you a few amazing things on the PA series. PA2X Pro is our flagship arranger. Check this out. Push the button, motorized screen moves up and down. I'm just going to let it tune up a little bit before I begin. You see we've got a video output connected to this monitor right here. So you can display lyrics and chord changes and all that cool stuff. I'll show you in a minute. Just let the keyboard warm up. So what you're actually hearing there, it's a really, really good uh, guitar performance, and it's being generated by our EDS Enhanced Definition Synthesis Engine. And along with that, we've got this RX technology. It stands for Real Experience. And basically what that gives you is the entire performance of the instrument. So when you play guitar, you hear those strums, and when you play other instruments, you hear the natural nuances of the instrument itself. So for example, here's a trumpet. The harder I hit, the different uh, noises that I get from the instrument. So that's a very cool thing. Jump over to a flute sound real quick. And uh, we'll jump over to a guitar and check out all the sounds I can get out of this guitar. get a slide if I really hit the key really hard and up top I have the rest of the performance of the guitar string slides body slaps all that cool stuff that you would hear from a real guitarist now I'm gonna jump to style mode and we will hear the PA 2x Pro actually playing those sounds as part of a style so check this out I'm gonna push the intro button and play a major chord the natural performance of the guitar is there. Now if I was to start with a minor chord, I would get a totally, totally different introduction. push the ensemble button and based on the key that I'm playing in it's going to give me harmony on the right hand part So now these are styles that I'm playing with. They have variations, intros, and endings. And I'm going to play a couple more that should blow your mind here. Check this one out. Start the intro. This one's really cool. It's called Django. Now one other cool thing about the PA series is I have these single touch setting buttons right below the display. If I touch one of these buttons, it'll change the, the upper and lower parts that I'm playing with so I can get different sounds. So this is single touch setting one. Now if I do single touch setting two, I've got Stefan Grappelli playing along with Django. So it's very cool stuff. Just want to play one other uh, quick style for you. This is a real good one. Yeah, baby. So lots of fun stuff going on here. Now, 
<laughs> the other great thing about the PA series is that they're great songwriting tools. So let's say I have an idea for a song in my head. I got some chords that I know I'm, I'm going to form a song with. What I'm going to do is call up a funk style because I'm in a funky kind of mood. And then I'm going to jump over to sequencer mode and press record. Now I have three different ways I can record, and it's all part of the same sequencer. I just choose the mode that I'm comfortable with. So right now, I could use a traditional multi-track sequencer like our workstations. I'm going to go to backing sequence. And instead of you know feeding the notes in one at a time, I'm going to teach the PA2X the chords that I am using. So push start, I get my one bar count in. Just play some simple chords. Pretty simple stuff. Now I can play that back, or I can jump over to step backing sequence. And now for each part of the song, each event or measure, I can assign different things to happen. So in measure one, I'm going to bring in a few more members of the band. So here we're going to have some drums, some additional instruments, and let's hear how that sounds. Starting to sound funky. If I wanted to, I could totally change the style of music to something else. You know, switch it up to a, to a pop song if I wanted to. Just click done, and good to go. But I'm going to stick with that funky one. So I'll jump back over here, get to my funk sound, and we're back in business. Now, the next thing I can do, I'm going to go to measure five and switch to a different variation. And what that's going to do is just get it a little bit funkier for me. So play it back. So as soon as I have the idea, I can use the PA series to just get it from my head into the keyboard very quickly. Now, another cool thing for performance is the uh, XDS dual sequencer. So we've actually got two separate 16 track sequencers going. I'm going to jump to song play mode. And over here, I'm going to select a song for sequencer number one. Now, after I select it, you see we got chord changes right on the screen. So the band can follow along with me. Just follow the black line underneath the chords and you're good to go. Now, while this song is playing, I'm going to go to sequencer number two and select another song. So call up the song, and now there are lyrics ready to be displayed for that second song. The very cool thing there is, while this first one is playing, I've done this load and I can crossfade to the other song. Now while that song is playing, I'm going back to sequencer number one, and I'm going to load something completely different. Press play on sequencer number one and crossfade back over. So you can customize a set on the fly. So if the mood of the party changes, you got to take a request. All you got to do is call it up and crossfade right over to it. The PA series also has this innovative songbook feature. And what this is, is a searchable database of MIDI files, performance settings that you could just call up just, be, just at the push of a button. So I can search for, uh, for sounds by name, genre, key, tempo, or meter. And you can see here we've got the six plus one days, a hard day, slash night. So we've got some easily identifiable styles that you can call up to play popular songs. And of course, you can add your own MIDI files, your own styles, and call them up right there. And you can uh, uh, use jukebox, mo jukebox mode to actually create a playlist that will uh, automatically work itself out while you're playing. So uh, there's another cool feature on the PA2X. There are some sliders right over here. And among other things, they are very good for digital drawbar mode. So I call up these digital drawbars. And I've got some great, uh, great Hammond emulation there. So that is the PA2X Pro. The, the, oh, one more thing about this. It's really cool. After you finish writing your song, you can save it as an MP3 with your vocals and record it onto this USB memory stick. So 
email it to your publicist, and you're good to go. The microphone also lets you do three-part vocal harmony. It has a built-in TC Helicon voice processor. So if I start up a style, turn on the microphone. Three-part harmony. So you can just have all that stuff going. And uh, its other effects, not just the uh, three-part harmony, if you really want to twist your voice up, uh, make it sound a little crazy, you can do that. And hit the opposite end of the spectrum while you're at it. So, all of that functionality is built into the PA2X Pro. We've got a brand new member of the PA family, the 588, which is sitting right over there. It takes the PA500 series engine and puts it into a beautiful 88 key chassis with our RH3 graded hammer action. So definitely check that out at Korg.com. And uh, thank you very much for watching.